Hi, I'm Hector Perez from Devs School. A few days ago, I got a very interesting question in the questions section of the .NET MAUI course, which is how to bind a static property to a XAML control. In this video, I'm going to show you a way that has worked for me and that solves the question I have been asked. But before that, I want to invite you to the .NET MAUI mega course in which through the creation of multiple projects, you will learn how to develop applications with .NET MAUI from scratch. Now, let's get started. I have created a project with the default .NET MAUI template, to which I have removed the default code, modifying the button to navigate to a second page, in which I'm going to create a very simple model to simulate the class that we want to keep as static, assigning the text .NET MAUI as initial value. The next step is to use the framework's ability to create static instances through the MAUI app builder, so, I'm going to go to the mauiprogram.cs class and register a singleton instance of the defined class. Once this is done, I'm going to go to the app.saml.cs class, where I'm going to register the static instance through a static property with a private set. Because we have registered a singleton instance in mauiprogram.cs, we can add in the constructor of the app class a parameter to receive that instance which I'm going to name underscore person. The next step is to assign to the static instance the singleton reference, which we can do through static person equals to underscore person. Once we have established the reference to the static instance, we can go to the XAML file where we will use the static instance. In order not to complicate too much this example, I'm going to create a label control to show the initial value of the instance, to see that everything works correctly at this point. We're going to do this, establishing a binding to the name property, and then using the source property, to indicate that we want to use a static instance. The question at this point is, how do we use the static property? Well, what we're going to do is create a namespace that contains the static instance reference. That is, we're going to write xmlns local clr namespace binding static demo. We use this namespace because this is where we can find the app class, which is where we create the static instance. Once this is done, we can go back to the label control. And I'm going to use the namespace created, local colon app dot static person. With this done, let's test the application to see if the data is displayed correctly. You can see that the implementation is correct. To see if when making changes these are maintained, I'm going to create an entry control with the same binding. Let's run the application again. And you can see the text box with the preloaded data. I'm going to make a change, but you can notice that the change does not occur in the label control. This happens because we have not implemented the iNotify property changed interface in the class to notify that the graphical interface should be updated. Previously, I have installed the package called Fodi, so I'm going to add the iNotify property changed attribute in the person model. I'm going to start the application again. And this time, you can see that when I make a change in the entry control, the value is updated in the label control correctly. To finish, I have created a second content page because I want to test if the change is maintained throughout the navigation of the application. In the new page, I'm going to change the default content and create a label with the same binding to the static property, remembering to create previously the namespace to the local project. I'm going to start the application. I'm going to make a change in the entry control and to press the button to navigate to the second page. You can see that the change is maintained and we are using the same value of the static instance. 